Okay, so for our second problem for the area method, so we have here an overhang beam which carries two uniformly distributed load and a concentrated load at point C. So draw the shear and bending moment diagram and state there that the, we should neglect the weight of the beam. So again, the first step here is to determine the reaction at the supports. So again, we have here a pin. So the reaction lang here is the vertical. Since wala namang horizontal force, so we can assume that yung BX mo is automatically equals to zero. And for point D, we have here a roller. So ano lang naman yan? One reaction, which is perpendicular to the surface. So again, uh, Solve lang natin yung reaction niya. So, either of these two naman, medyo mahirap yung pagkuha ng reaction. But anyway, kaya naman natin gawin niya. So, ang gawin ko na lang, I will take summation ng moment at D to solve for the dy. So, by taking summation ng moment at point D equals to zero. So, we will have an equation of uh, dy dy, ayan, so dy multiplied by the distance of, so 4, 1, 5, 5, mm -hmm. so that is equal, so unahin ko muna to, concentrated load, so 400 times the distance of 1, and then itong uniform load na to, so plus 200 multiplied by 6. And then, so magiging concentrated siya, di ba? So pag 200 times 6, so magiging dito siya. So ito, the distance away from this point. So this is 3. Okay? So mangyayari, 3 plus 1, yun yung magiging uh, moment arm niya or your perpendicular distance. So that will be equals to 4. Okay lang tayo dun, ha? Reaction lang to. And then, uh, minus, so since ito is uh, magiging counterclockwise, then and nilipat ko dun sa kabila, so magiging minus na siya. So 400, so times 2, and then multiply by the perpendicular distance na 1. Okay, so with that, we will have a value for dy, which is equals to, so pindot lang sa alt view, 400 times 1 plus 200 times 6 times 4 minus 400 times 2 and then divided by 5. So the answer for dy is equal equals to 880 pound. And to solve for by, just take summation of forces ng y equals to 0. And so our equation will be by is equal, so isa-isa natin yung pababa, so 400 times 2, and then plus 400, and then plus 200 times 6, and then minus dy, which is equals to 880. So the reaction for by is equals to 400 times 2 plus 400 plus 200 times 6 minus 880. So that will be 1,520 pounds. Okay, so I project ko lang to. Gawa lang ako dito ng mga reference line natin. Ayan. Okay, so meron ka ulit dito ng change in load. So ito pa. And then this one. So this is an example of overhang din. No? So magkabilang side may overhang siya. So again, ano nga yung sunod dito sa original din natin? So this will be our shear diagram. So which is yung unit niya is in pound. So mamaya ko na i-drawing yung moment diagram para ano natin. Okay, so let's start at point A. So lagi ka naman sa left most part magsisimula. Okay, so it will start here in zero. And then ang sabi niyan, from A to B, meron kang uniform load. So again, kapag rectangular yan, so that is a zero degree curve. Okay, so... 0, so pababa yan, so minus 400, so yung, or yung area lang nito. Okay, so 0 minus 400 times 2, so that will be negative 800, or andito siya. 
that is negative 800. Okay? And then at point B, sasabi dyan, meron ka daw BY, which is pataas. So, aming from negative 800, so aadan mo ng value ng iyong BY, which is 1520. So, negative 800 plus 1520, so that will be equals to 720. So, tataas ka lang dito. Let's just say na nandito siya. Ayan. So, the value here is 720. Okay. So, this time, we will now go to the segment BC. So, as you can see here in the original loading, walang load na nag-aak doon sa point B hanggang doon sa point C. Ayan. So, 720 lang din siya dito. But, at point C, ang sabi niya, meron siya concentrated load which is downward, which has a value of 400. So, coming from 720 minus 400, So, that will be equals to 320. So, let's just say na nandito na siya. Ayan. So, may 320 ka dyan. Okay? And then, next will be for the segment na C to D. So, titigil tayo sa dito sa D kasi magkaaroon ka ng change in load kung saan doon sa point D mo nandun yung DY or yung reaction mo doon sa roller support. So, I mean from 320. So, ima-minus mo lang to. So, since pababa yan, and then this is a zero degree curve, so magiging first degree or in the shape of triangle, kagaya nitong nangyari dito. Okay? So, 320. So, minus 200. Yung height niya, and then yung base niya is 4. Okay? So, times 4. So, the answer will be negative 480. So, let's just say na. Ayan. So, dapat mas mataas pa rin ito na. So, that is negative 480. Okay? So, shade lang natin para kitang-kita yung ating diagram. And then, here at point D, so coming from negative 480, tataas ka daw ng value ng dy, which has a value of 880. So, plus 880, so that will be equals to 400. So, mas mataas lang siya dapat ng kaunti sa 320. So, let's just say na nandito. Ayan. So, that will be equals to 400. And then last, from the segment D to E, so meron tayong uniform load, which is acting 200 pound per feet. So, again, that is a zero degree curve. So, check natin. Dapat pagdating niya dito sa dulo, so magsisiro dapat siya. So, 400 minus 200 times 2. Okay, so correct. So, nagsira naman siya. Therefore, our shear diagram is tama. Ano? So, nagsira ulit siya dito. Okay. <clears throat> so, next, uh, i-identify natin yung mga location kung saan ka nagkaroon ng zero shear. So, the first one, meron ka ditong zero shear and then at this point. Okay, so ito, nagyan ko lang ng projection dito. Kasi... Uh, magkakaroon tayo dito ng isa pang point kung saan dyan natin uh, kung saan gagawa tayo dyan ng point for the moment diagram. Okay? But I think yung maximum moment niya is andito sa part na to. Ano? Kasi kung makikita nyo dito 800 yung value niya. Compare dito na 480. So i-check rin natin. Okay? So ayan. Uh, so ito. Okay, so ibig sabihin, banda dito, nagkaroon ka daw ng uh, zero shear. Dito kasi walang problema kasi alam natin na sa mismong to siya. So wala tayong problema sa distance kung gagamitin natin yung area method. So ang gawin ko dito, ipakita ko sa inyo yung dalawang way para makuha yung distance na to. Ito kasi yung kailangan nating malaman. So let's just say na this is equals to x. So yung isa, pwede through the use of ratio and proportion. Kasi alam natin na ito, itong distance na to is equals to 4. Tama? Okay? So, if this is x, therefore, this one, this distance, is equals to 4 minus x. Okay? So, by ratio and proportion, so, by R and P, so, dito ko na lang pala sa, sa isa sa susulat dito. By R and P, ayan, so, 320 all over x is equals to 480. So, ano tayo ha? Absolute value, regardless of the negative sign. Kasi nag-relation proportion lang tayo. 380 of, ah, 480 over 
minus x. So, what will be the value of x? So, pindutin lang natin siya sa alq. So, 320 divided by x. And then, 480 divided by 4 minus x. So, ship solve. So, ano nga yung bagay? Lagyan ko ng value na 1. So, that is equals to 1.6. 1 1.6 feet. So, ang haba pala nito is 1.6 feet. Okay. So, this is one way of checking or knowing the location of the uh, another uh, potential na maximum moment. Okay? Kasi dito nga, nagkaroon tayo ng zero shear. Actually, kahit pala dito, no? So, meron pala tayong tatlong point kung saan nagkaroon ka ng zero shear. Anyway, so, i-check rin. Maikita rin naman natin yan sa moment diagram. Pero ito talaga yung... Uh, kailangan natin isolve since nasa gitna siya dito ng segment CD. So, hindi natin yung, known yung exact location. Unlike dito sa point na to, so mismo tumama siya doon sa point B and itong isa mismo sa point B. So, alam natin na itong isa is 2, meet, 2 feet away from A and itong isa is 3. So, 7 feet away from point A or 2 feet away from point E. Okay. So, isang way ng checking is yung combination nga na sinasabi ko. So, pwede kasi paghaluin ko yung dalawa. Yung sectioning method and yung area method. So, alam naman natin na yung isang uh, potential na maximum moment is nandito sa part na to. Ayan. So, magsa-section method. Method ako. Okay? So, pagka-section kong ganyan, so, i-drawing lang natin dito. Ibukod lang natin yung drawing niya. So, meron ka ditong 400... 400 pound per feet. And then dito, meron kang BY which is a value of 1,520. And then, ito. Uh, okay. So this is 200 pound per feet. And sa ibabaw nito, meron kang concentrated load which has a value of 400 Okay? So, again, ano nga yung rule natin dito? Uh, ilagay muna pala natin yung mga distances. So, ito is, alam natin na 2 feet. And then, ito, this is equivalent to 1 feet. And, do sa distance niya, away from do sa cutting section natin. So, this is always equals to x. Okay? So, this is our direction for the shear. And this one is for the moment. Okay, so, ayan, so gawa natin siya equation for the shear. So, assuming downward direction as positive, take summation of forces ng y equals to 0. So, we will have a shear, V, ayan, is equals to, so lahat ng pataas, so 1520. And then minus, so unahin natin itong 400, minus 400, so times 2. Okay, so ayun yung ano niya. And then minus itong isang 400. No concentrated load, minus 400. And then itong uniform load. So if this is 2 and this is 1 and this is x, therefore ito, ano yung distance na yan? So di ba yun ay magiging x minus 3 feet lang. Ayan. Kung ito ay x, and then ito ay 2, and then ito 1. So ito, yung natira is x minus 3. Okay, kaya nangyari dyan, so minus, eto nga, minus 400, so minus, so sa baba lang yan, pinakasika siya, minus 200 times x minus 3. Okay, so gawa na rin natin yung moment equation para ma-check natin mamaya kung tama ba yung mas, kukuha natin sagot using the area method and section method. Okay, so dapat iisa lang yung nalabas sa sagot dyan. So, by considering the moment equation, ayan. So, by taking summation ng moment, is equals to zero do sa section natin. So, M is equals to etong uh, reaction niya, yung 1520. Then, multiply. So, ano ba yung distance natin ayan? Ano ba yung distance ito? So, if this is X and this is 2, therefore, etong distance niya dito, ayan. 
Ano ba yung distance na yun? So, di ba yun ay magiging x minus 2 lang? Okay, ng eta. Times x minus 2. And then, so, unahin natin, sunod natin to, itong uniform load na to. So, minus uh, 400 times 2. So, ito yung force niya. Actually, guys, ang gawin nyo na lang dito, uh, ang gawin yung basis yung sinunda niya equation ito. So, kopyan nyo lang itong unang term, so, yan yung force. And then, ang sunod mong ilalagay yung perpendicular distance niya. So, kailangan natin distance na malaman is yung distance niya mula doon sa gitna ng rectangle hanggang dito sa section natin. So, alam natin na ito ay 2, di ba? Therefore, ito is equals lang sa 1. So, mangyayari dyan, ito is equals lang sa x minus 1. Okay? So, medyo magulo siya. Ano? Uh, maraming mga distances na kailangan i-consider. So, that's why, uh, kadalasan ang prefer ko is gamitin na lang yung area method. So, dapat, pero at the end of the day, dapat pareho lang sila na lang. So, so, x minus 1. Okay? Tapos ito, itong 400 na to. Ayan. So, ito, ituloy ko lang dito sa baba. So, minus 400 multiplied by the distance of... So, ito yung kailangan kong distance. So, ayan yan. Nakita na natin. So, x minus 2. Tama? Teka lang. So, 200... Oh, tama pala. Sorry. Dito ako nalito eh. So, 400 multiply by the distance of x minus 3. And then, ito sunod. So, i-copy lang natin yan. So, minus 200 times x minus 3. So, ito na siya. And then, x minus 3 over 2. O, kalahati lang ng distance na to. Ano? Kasi ang mangyayari dyan, ito yung kailangan natin distance. So, saan ito is x minus 3. So, itong distance na to is kalahati lang nito. Okay? So, hindi ko na isusunod doon kasi mag-overlapping uh, mag na. So, baka magdito. Pero kung sinusundan nyo naman yung video, I believe na nakikita nyo naman yung mga distance na isinusunod ko. Okay? So, ayan. So, i-check muna natin. Ano? So... Guys, wag malilito ha. Yung x dito is magkaiba do sa x na nakuha natin dito. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, yung x kasi dito is nagmula dito sa side na to. From this, uh, from this side hanggang dito. Okay? From which, yung isa, yung ratio and proportion natin, is ito lang yung distance na yan. Okay? Which is 1.6. So, ibig sabihin pala, kapag i-consider natin yung x dito, Para masabi natin kapareho siya nito, 1.6, so dapat yung distance niya is magiging ito, 2 plus 1 plus 1.6, or that will be 4.6. So dapat ang lalabas dito sa equation na to is 4.6. Again, uh, based do sa ating uh, mga key pointer na napag-aralan ng unang problem, so di ba dapat the maximum moment is located dun sa point kung saan meron kang zero shear. So, kung ganun yung case, itong equation na to is magiging zero lang. Okay? So, shear is, will be equals to zero. So, i-copy mo lang to Is equals to 1520 minus 400 times 2 minus 400 minus 200 times x minus 3. Okay? So, with that, may mahahanap tayong value ng x. So, ano nga sabi ko sagot dapat kanina? Dapat siya ay 4.6. So, i-check natin kung pareho na lalabas. 1, 520 minus 400 times 2 minus 400. So, minus 200. The ship sold ko na x minus 3. The ship sold. So, 4. Ayan. So, lumabas nga is 4.6. 6. Ayan. So, pareho lang, ba? Again, kung aadan mo to ng 3, 4.6 lang din yung lalabas sa'yo. So, check na rin natin yung moment, ha? So, even though na hindi pa natin nagagawa dito yung uh, diagram niya, so, ipapaita lang natin na dapat pareho lang na lalabas sa moment. So, yung moment, if itong distance na to i-consider natin, okay? 
4.6. So, titingnan natin kung ang lalabas ang sagot. Then, kapag plinat natin yung area, true area method, so dapat mapalabas din natin yung lalabas ang sagot dito. Pero, tansya ko, ito yung, nandito yung maximum moment. Nandito sa point na to. Ah, nasa baba pala. Ano? Siguro yung nandito is uh, the value of the maximum moment. Maximum positive moment yan. Check lang natin. So, input mo lang to sa alq, itong equation na to. And then, yung gawin mong value ng x is 4.6. Okay? So, 1520. So, times uh, quantity of 4.6 minus 2. Minus 400 times 2 times 4.6 minus 1. Minus 400 times 4.6 minus 3. Minus 200 times 4.6 minus 3 squared divided by 2. So, ang sabi dito, the value here is 176. 176, so pound feet. Okay? So, ito daw yung max moment. Okay? So, ayan. So, check natin if mapapalabas nga natin dito. Dito sa point na to, um, 176. Okay? So, now, uh, let's plot the moment diagram. Okay? Uh, so, again, uh, we will start here at this leftmost part. So, which is yung moment niya will start at zero. Kasi wala ka namang couple moment dito. And since ito is, ano pa lang, though may uniform load, so, habang lumalayo siya, palaki ng palaki yung moment na ma-produce niya. Because dito. Pero pa, dito, since start point pa lang yan, so zero. So, wala pa siyang distance na i-multiply, okay? So, it will start at zero. So, just take the area of this uh, triangle. So, pababa yan. So, coming, again, this is a first degree. So, magiging second degree lang siya. So, just take the area of that. One half of... 800 times 2. So, that will be negative 800. Okay? So, again, para malaman mo yung shape, hindi ulit natin alam if pa ganito or ganyan. So, again, tingnan mo lang dito yung dalawang value. Regardless of its sign, tingnan mo kung alin ang maximum, alin ang minimum. So, again, between these two, which is the maximum, which is the minimum. So, ito yung minimum, ba? And then, ito yung maximum. And then, alam natin na magiging negative 800 siya. So, nandito sa baba. Okay? So, again, this is the minimum value. Mag-start sa zero. And then, this is the maximum. Mag-end sa uh, negative 800. So, pagdugsungin mo lang yan kung anong shape ang maproproduce niyan. And so, pag ganyan pala yung shape niya. Ano? So, this will be a second degree curve. And then, the value here is negative 800. Okay? Next, dito naman tayo sa portion na to. Ayan. So, from segment B to C. So, itong area nito. So, this is a rectangle. So, magiging triangular lang yung shape niya or in the shape of trapezoid. So, negative 800. So, since nasa sa taas yan, so, nasa taas ng axis mo, so, i-add mo. So, plus 720 times the distance of 1. So, magiging negative 80 lang siya. Or, ibig sabihin, nandito pa rin siya sa negative axis. So, nandito lang. So, straight line lang siya kasi first degree. So, this is negative 80. Okay? So, next, uh, maa-addan siya ng area nitong uh, triangle na to. Okay? So, ano ba yung magiging area dyan? So, that is uh, area lang ng triangle. Okay? So, plus 1 half of 320 times the base. Ano nga itong base na to? So, 1.6. Ayun. So, guys, kung nakita nyo, 176. So, tama. Naging, magiging 176 siya. So, andito siya. So, let's just say na nandito siya. So, again, pag compare mo itong dalawang value, 320 and itong 0. So, alin dyan yung maximum, alin yung minimum. So, di ba ito yung maximum? So, patayo and then ito yung minimum. Ayan. So, pag dugsungin mo lang yan. Ayan. So, hindi lang masyado. Ano, eh. Ayan. 
Okay, so the value here is 176. So tama, no? So ibig sabihin pala, tama yung duda natin kanina na ito yung maximum value niya. Maximum positive moment. And yung maximum negative moment, so ito na siguro yun. Ano? Kasi 176 na to and ito na lang yung area na natitira na pababa. Eh. So 176. So kulayan lang natin no, para nakikita nyo yung itsura ng diagram. Shade lang natin. Okay, so at this point, this is a first degree, straight lang lang ito. Ito second degree. Ito also second degree. And then next, for this segment, A, B, C, D, E. Sabihin na lang natin itong F to. So from point F to D, or yung area nitong triangle na ito. Okay, so this is a first degree, so magiging second degree ulit curve ito. So coming from 176, so since nasa baba yan, so ima-minus natin. So minus... 1 half of the base, which is 4 minus x daw, 1.6, and then times the height na 480, so times 480. So negative 400. So andito siya banda. Sabihin natin nandito, point na to. So tingnan mo dito, sa dalawang value, alin yung positive, alin, alin yung maximum, alin yung minimum. So ito yung minimum, since zero yan. So, minimum, and then ito yung maximum. So, patayo. Ayan. Pag nagsumin mo lang yung dalawa, ayun. Okay, and last, so, anong sagot pala? So, negative 400. And last will be for this uh, point. Ano? So, since nasa taas yan, i-add mo yung area niyan. So, coming from first degree ulit, so, magiging second degree curve to. So, plus the area of a triangle. So, plus one half. One half of the base na 2 times the height na 400. Okay. So, 0. So, again, pili, uh, identify which is the maximum, which is the minimum. So, 400 is the maximum. And then, yung 0 yung minimum. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, ganito yung ating magiging moment diagram. So guys, again, uh, importante kasi yung shape ng uh, moment diagram mo since dyan mo malalaman yung possible or yung magiging shape ng deformation, deflection ng beam mo. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung shape niya is kabaligtaran lang nung magiging shape ng moment diagram. Yung shape ng deflection is kabaligtaran ng magiging moment diagram. So kung ito nasa baba, so malamang naman ganito siya magdideform. Ayan. And then dito, sa parting to, uh, naging nasa ibabaw siya. Ayan. Tapos dito sa point na to, so since nasa ilalim siya, eto, nasa taas lang. Ayan. So because of this loading, ganito yung pwede maging itsura ng deflection. Okay? So this deflection, so mahalaga yan para ma-identify mo kung alin yung nag-a-undergo ng tension, alin yung nag-a-undergo ng compression. So for example, dito sa point na to, di ba kapag ang beam mo is na aganyan, Ayan. So, imagine mo na lang yung daliri mo, iganyan mo. Yung yung apat na daliri mo. Ano, iganan mo yung kamay mo. So, di ba alin ba yung nababanat na portion dyan? Di ba ito nababanat? So, this will undergo tension. And then, itong ibabaw, kung mapapansin mo, yung uh, joints mo, di ba nag na ganyan? Ibig sabihin, dito nagkaroon ng compression or nasiksik yan. So, that's why napaalaga ng moment uh, diagram. Kasi yun nga, kabaligtaran niya yung magiging shape ng def deflection mo. And yung shape ng deflection, mahalaga yan para ma-identify mo kung alin yung mag undergo ng compression and tension. Okay? So, ayan. So, let's proceed with the next problem. I hope na ita niyo yung ano ha, yung relevance ng dalawa. So, kailan magandang gamitin si area, kailan pwede mo rin gamitin si section method. So, let's proceed with the next problem. Thank you. 